Doc, you need me, I'm outside. Okay. Charles, you said something before about faith. Which one? Which one what? Which faith? There's only one faith. And there are many religions, right? I never said anything about religion. So I'm confused? Most people are. That's why I'm here. Set me straight. Judaism, Christianity, Islam. We're talking dogma here, not faith. Dogma just gets in the way. Canons, rituals. <laughs> Th these aren't God's teachings. These were, these were created by men for other men to follow, to expand influence, to control, to increase the amount of money in their wallets, doctor. This doesn't bring you closer to God. It only separates you from him. It only separates you from his kingdom. So the kingdom of God is free to us all? Not when the guardians of the gate are imposing a cover charge. I think I got that. I want to see if I can't do a little exercise with you, Charles, where you just close your eyes, lean your head back, take a few deep breaths, a few more, a few more deep breaths. Let your mind wander. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. And go back. Go back in time. Go back in time. And there you are with Shelley. What are you doing? Are you fighting? Are you arguing about something? Why did you stop having sex with Shelly? Because I didn't want to have children. And I was afraid it would change what we had. What was your reaction? Freedom. Freedom to move, room to breathe. <laughs> to do everything and anything just because we wanted to. What about when Shelly wanted to have children? Stopped having sex. And I found religion. But then something happened. Something struck a chord. Not the words, something else. Something different. And it stuck. I had to understand it. Where did you go? Nowhere. Everywhere. I wandered. What did you see? Oh, no. Landscapes blur. The sun that rises in Los Angeles is the same sun that rises in New York. Come on, Charles. I need you to think back. I need you to try. I don't know. I saw things. Things I didn't like. Men and women living in filth, forgotten and abused. They were like little ants. I wanted to help them, but I only walked away. And in my head, I could hear Shelley like an echo. <laughs> you have no purpose. And for the first time, I actually understood what she meant. It's an awful feeling. Because it's the moment you realize your life's at the bottom. At worst, you think about what you lost along the way.